Police targeted their four-month-long investigation in Irvington, along Frederick and Collins Avenues. They said they arrested members of a drug trafficking organization. All face various gun and drug charges. They range in age from 17 to 35. This is about going after those responsible for driving uh, violence across our city and inflict them harm upon our communities. The takedown was a collaborative effort that involved city and state police, Anne Arundel, Howard and Harford County Police, and federal agents. During the course of the search, detectives recovered illegal firearms, fentanyl, marijuana, heroin, and cocaine. All of this, according to Mayor Brandon Scott, to send a unified message about the city's group violence reduction strategy. Sending young men to prison is not our goal. But if you do not take us up, if you do not change your life, this will also happen to you. Uh, that is the only choice that you have. According to Monzi, the Mayor's Office of Neighborhood Safety and Engagement, Services were offered to help those wanting to turn away from street crimes. In this particular instance, members of this group were invited to a call-in as part of the strategy to offer services and deliver GVRS's anti-violence message. They unfortunately made the choice to decline this outreach and continued participating in activities associated with violence. When you tell us uh, to pound sand and we're going to do what we want to do anyway, I don't play poker, I don't bluff. This is what's going to happen to you. The police commissioner says the arrests have made a difference. Since they've removed these individuals, the community has already reached out and said that they are much more comfortable in the space and that they've seen an impact on what the officers have done. And Kevin Williams, one of the other men indicted, and again, that 17-year-old juvenile have open warrants for their arrests. Reporting live from downtown Baltimore, Barry Sims, WBAL-TV 11 News.